You're very welcome back. Now, if there's one thing that is guaranteed to get students excited, apart from a day off, of course, yeah. is a good experiment. A day off or a free class. Yeah. Yes. Woo! <laughs> uh, six members from Skull Trasset and Fairhouse recently blew everyone away with their engineering skills when they were crowned the overall winners of the first Lego League All-Ireland final. So we decided to send out our Derek over to Fairhouse to find out more. Over to you, Derek. How are you getting on? Yes, Carmilla, Grania, August, Martin, potentially no homework as well today, which is good news. Anyway, welcome down here to Skull Trassa. Yeah! We're down here in Fur House in South County Dublin with all our wonderful, all our amazing students here this morning. Uh, we're talking about the Lego League. First time I've heard of it. Uh, Muntor Sean is the teacher behind it. Uh, Sean, tell us about the Lego League and what is it? Yeah, so it's a global sort of engineering competition for kids aged 11 to 17. And it sort of works on two components. The Lego is they have a Lego robot that they build and kind of program themselves to do various challenges, which you'll see later. And the other half is kind of thinking like an engineer and working on an innovation project. So they're kind of solving a real world problem using technology. So this is all about building young scientific and engineering minds, yeah. right? And it's, I suppose, it kind of gives a real just practical aspect to STEM and it's not taken out a book and reading about science or reading about the engineering design cycle. They're actually getting into it and really just working on it, which is super. They're also doing coding as well. Yeah. And they've started this from scratch. Yeah, so the kids in my class, they kind of had some experience with like the beginner Lego coding. But this year we got the kids in the middle of January and they, I think, had two hour workshop experience before they started. And they've kind of self-taught themselves, which is with help from me, but it's a lot of self-taught. <laughs> it's fantastic, and we're going to have a little demo in a few moments' time. Yeah. Uh, not only did you win the Leinster League, yeah. you also won the National League, the yeah. national competition too. So uh, all four of the teams, which you'll be chatting to later, they entered the regional final in DCU at the end of February, and then one team won the robot game, um, GPS, who you'll be chatting to in a second. And they ended up going to the All-Ireland, and I think it was a complete surprise to us all that they ended up winning the overall competition so then they're going to Norway to enter the European Championships. And that's on later on this year? Yeah, it's on in the middle of May. So we fundraised as a community, as a school. We got sponsorship from different companies to be able to go. So You must be a very proud point. Muntour, are you? Very, very <laughs> proud Muntour. <laughs> on Brodol, our yeah. fad on Brodol. Now, we're going to pop over here uh, to Kayleigh because Kayleigh, you're obviously the, not only the Leinster, but the national championships. Champions. Yeah, uh, we won the All Ireland like at the end of March, and we like we're now going to Norway and Bodo, and we won this trophy. And this is your trophy. What was your project about, Ava? Our project was about girls our age not being in sport, and at the age of twelve they drop out. Okay. And did you enjoy doing it? Yeah, it was really fun. Uh, there's a lot of coding involved here, Caitlin. Was it hard to do? It was tricky at the start, but like then we kind of figured out everything, and it was just really easy then. Okay, so we're going to see Robot Rachel in action and we're going to pop over here to Holly Ann. Holly Ann, this is your project here itself, right? Yeah. How did you get on doing it? Well, it was really fun to like code the robots and like help each other and we all like got different missions to do. So we all were like included in the process of doing it all. Okay, so we're going to see Robot Rachel in action here. Fire her up there, Molly. Uh, tell us what's involved here, Tara. So we were coding on a Chromebook. So we were setting up the code so we can tell Rachel, move forward for this amount. And then we download it to the hub there. And if you pre and it's saved as a number. So each, there's loads of different codes. Each saved as a number. So if we tell Rachel, do code one, she'll do whatever we tell her to do in code one. Okay, and was it difficult to program her, Molly? Yeah, so for some of them, you only have to push it in, so that was kind of easy, it's just going forward and back. But for some of them, it's more complicated, like turning it or pushing something down or spinning this big motor here. So uh, that was kind of the that harder was, that bit was, of it. That was a little bit harder. Uh, you got 340 points. You're hoping to build on that? Yeah, we're hoping to get over 400 points in, the, in Norway. OK, OK, and best of luck with that as you head up to Bodo. Now, we're going to pop over here to Lauren. Lauren, tell us about your little project. We did our project on kids, 9 to 10 year olds, that don't play sport. Don't play sport. And I believe you're twins. Are you involved in sport, Aaron? Yeah, I'm involved with... You're involved in sport. Amia, was it a hard project to do? Yeah, it was. Like, um, we, like, got into, like, lots of problems. Like, for example, in the coding, like, we got, like... Sometimes the code didn't work, so we had to like, start all over again. Okay, yeah. And was it difficult to start coding, Daniel? Yeah, it was difficult to start coding because once when you're, like, when you're bad at it and then you start getting used to it, you 
you get better at it. Uh, Ryan, what's the name of your project, by the way? Uh, Ready Up. Ready Up, okay, and you enjoy doing it, something? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Uh, now, we're going to pop over here to our next little project, and we've got Callum LC. Tell us about the name, Dara. Um, Callum <laughs> LC is after Jake's little brother over there, because um, he really wants to be in the project, he really, really wants to do the competition when he's older. And um, yeah. And did you enjoy doing it, Lucas? Yeah, it was very fun. Just getting to a group with together, working with your friends. Okay, what about uh, the project? What's it about, Leon? Um, it's about a glow in the dark football because during the winters it gets dark really early. So if we want to play football. Okay, can... how do you make a glow in the dark football, Jake? Um, we use these stickers that you, and um, we stitch them on. <laughs> okay, and you can play all, all, all year round with this sticker and it glows up in the dark. Yeah. Uh, ben, who do you support, by the way? Liverpool. How are they doing in the league at the moment? Uh, they're third tight on goal. Okay, difference. go on, Liverpool. <laughs> anyway, finally, we brought MCG crew. Uh, Oshin, how did you come up with the name? Uh, we did it about our uh, thing, it's motion capture VR, and we did it um, as a, mo- a motion capture device. Okay, and Ben, was it a hard project to do? Uh, yeah, it had its ups and downs, and it was really good. You really enjoyed it. What about yourself, Free? So what's involved here? It's all all, all about um, motion VR, is that correct? Uh, yeah, it's all about teamwork as well with the project, and uh, we just did really good on it. Okay, in terms of the coding, Simon, then, who was involved in that? Um, Ushin and Reese did a lot of the coding, and so it was, like, it was very hard... Um, I assume for them and Harry would you recommend kids to get involved in it it's really good to make new friends and I really enjoyed it so it was really good alright good meal and good to everyone so there we have it Moon Tour Sean we've gone around to all the kids here <laughs> yeah. this morning like really important that they get involved from a very young age right yeah definitely so there's like an earlier division for like I think 8 to 10 year olds but we're kind of we're at the start of the or the challenge division. Which okay, is where can we find out more online? Uh, the FLL website, first Lager League website, FLL.ie. Dot .ie. Okay, there we have it for me and all the gang here at Skull Trassa. Yeah! Guess what, guys? No homework! Yeah! <laughs> Back to you in studio, I love doing that. I, <laughs> yeah! I don't know if he's that no kind of power. Hang on. Did they? It's.